Hi everyone! We're back with another awesome tutorial. Typography plays a huge role in making your videos more interesting and convincing, whether it's a movie, product promotion, or advertisement. Today, we'll teach you how to create this type of curved typography in Filmora using the new Curve Text feature. Keep watching! Before we begin, if you haven't already installed Wondershare Filmora, please visit the official website and download the latest version. Then, install it on your computer. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our upcoming videos. First, go to the Track Manager and add 12 video tracks to have enough tracks to work on this typography. Then, drop any basic title on Track 9 and make it 7 seconds long. Next, go to the setting panel, then to the text box, and enter your chosen text like Typography Design, Stay Creative, Copy Typography Design, and paste it at the end to make the text slightly longer. Change the font to any semi-bold font of your choice, set the font size to 20, and change the font color to red. Scroll down to the shape option, select the first preset, and change the strength to 360 degrees. Then adjust the scale to around 47, and give it a bit of a rotation. Duplicate the title on 7th track. Then change the font to any bold font, adjust the text size to 56, and change the color to white or any other color. After that, decrease the scale to fit it inside the first curve text and give it a rotation. You can choose any rotation value. Then duplicate it again on the 5th track. Change font to any other font. You can choose impact font. Increase text size to 100 and remove the last two words typography design from the text. Then scroll down and decrease the scale to fit it in the circle, and change the font color to red. Duplicate the title again on third, adjust the scale, and use a different rotation value. Then change the font color to white. Then duplicate it again on track one, change the font, and then scroll down and decrease the scale. Then click on the advanced option, off the fill color, on the outline, change the outline color to white, then change the thickness to one, and press OK. Next, we will keyframe the text to create a rotation effect. Select the Track 9 title and place the playhead at the start. On the rotation keyframe, after 2 seconds, add 30 to the rotation value. For example, if it is currently at 30, add 30 to make it 60. Then, after 15 frames, subtract 60 from the current value to make it 0. After 2 seconds, change the rotation value to negative 30. Then after 15 frames, change the rotation value to 30. Finally, at the end, add 30 to the rotation value to achieve this type of animation. Select the second title track on the rotation keyframe at the start, then after 15 frames, add 60 to the current value. Then after 2 seconds, add 30 to the current value. Now, follow the same steps to create a further keyframe on this title. Then follow the same steps on the rest of the titles to create animation using rotation keyframes. On last default title, create start and end keyframes with a bit of rotation. Now to create depth, like a preview video, we're going to use a black solid color. For that, go to the stock media, and from solid color, drop the black solid color onto track 10, and make it 7 seconds long. Then go to the mask, and select circle mask. Then change the height to 50, then increase the scale, and then invert the mask, and increase the blur strength, and again, adjust the scale. Then duplicate it on track 8. Decrease the scale to adjust the on to the second text circle and adjust the scale and blur strength. Then duplicate it on track 6. Reduce the scale and adjust the blur strength. Again, duplicate solid color on track 4 and 2 and follow the same steps. And once you're done with it, you'll get this cool depth effect. Now to make it more interesting, go to the filters and then to cinematic and apply the border desert effect on track 11. Make it 7 seconds long and then change the opacity to 52. Then scroll down and apply a blue bear filter on track 12 and make it 7 seconds long and change the opacity to 72. Finally, apply the adjustment layer and then go to the color and adjust the temperature, vibrance, saturation, exposure, brightness, contrast, and white. And once you render your project, you will get this awesome curved typography animation. What are you waiting for? Download or update your Filmora version from the link in the description. If you found this helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow editors and creators. 
If you're interested in visual effects and tutorials, be sure to check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you next time. Thank you.